Okay, so a new book's come out uh, claiming that Prince William was the one that kicked Meghan and Harry out of Kensington Palace. So uh, let's have a look. It's very, very, very interesting indeed. All right, let's have a look at the clip. Here we go. Now, it's been reported Prince William threw Harry out after a fight about Meghan's behaviour. A new book mm. by historian Robert Lacey claims the Duke of Cambridge was forced to act after allegations of bullying made by staff. Now, if you followed my channel early on uh, when we had the uh, royal visit to Australia, there was rumours right at the start there that a lot of staff were leaving and uh, it was because Meghan was very... Oh, she just had a very specific way of doing things and would ring him up uh, too early in the morning because, you know, she liked to do her yoga nice and early and just really, really just too full on. So a lot of staff couldn't take it. So I think that's where that came from. Wills allegedly told the Sussexes they were no longer welcome at Kensington Palace. Yikes. Now, that's the complex that a lot of royals stay in, sort of like... A a big flash boarding house. Uh, <laughs> Kylie, are these claim, if they're true, did Wills act uh, proportionately? Do you think? Yeah, look, I've read the reports. I tend to believe all of it. I tend to believe all of it too. It's, it's just all adds up, doesn't it? Just the way... Like, I, I like to call her Hurricane Megan because she just comes through with a family and she just wreaks havoc. Happened with, happened with you know, her family... It's happening to Royals now, you know, there's, there's, there's a distinct pattern going on here. It's not, it's not rocket science, is it? It's a distinct pattern how she ghosts people, she separates people, you know, she controls people. It's all, um, it's all classic narcissistic behaviour. I believe all of it too, Kylie. I think Meghan did come in and she probably, with her American way, was very, you know, let's get this yeah, done. Yeah. And, so, and, then and, you know, the royal, you know, the royal family is very protocol you know doing it the way that it should be done uh not they're not into big changes are they and sort of maybe upset the apple cart yep. maybe some of the staff william staff did did take exception to it i tend to believe it's probably all a bit true so william then got put off site he then confronted harry harry of course is going to defend megan oh. i reckon it's all yep. true and it was always going to happen <laughs> did he write to kick her out though was he right to kick her out he didn't well, kick her him, out oh, well, they decided well, well. to separate their ways because <laughs> they had one uh, combined communications manager and perhaps oh. that was never going to work if they did See, I didn't know that. I didn't know they had one combined communications manager. I thought they'd be separate, but I think they were going to separate things, weren't they? Because I know there was something they were going to work on a charity together and they decided to separate. Stick it out. You wouldn't have these warring sides. Mm. I've got to say, I'm not heavily invested in the royal dramas. <laughs> oh. As much as I am. No, I find it interesting from a journalism point of view which side's publicity team is leaking to who yeah. and who has the media on side. Mm. That is really the crux of who comes out looking like the good guy and who comes out. Yeah, well, Megan's controlling everything, isn't she? It's pretty, it's pretty obvious what's happening here. <laughs> she won't even, you know, she doesn't even have the uh, courtesy to to uh, show the Queen, you know, I, I think they've had Zoom calls, but, you know, it's not like a a, uh, a trip back to England and showing off the uh, great-grandkids. Was it great-grandkids? Great-grandkids? Yeah, great-grandkids, yeah. So, um, yeah, Megan's controlling all this. It's pretty obvious, I think. Let's get back to it. What else have they got to say? That is the bad guy. Yeah. At the moment, Will and Kate... Uh, Winning by 10 yeah. goals. But neither of them is telling their communications win. people to shut up mm. and oh, say, we want to mend this. They're, they're basically telling them go for their life, which I think says something. The soap opera just continues and it just yeah. unravels on a weekly yeah. basis, doesn't it? We, we sit here talking about something new every week and it's, yeah. it's quite extraordinary for a, a family that used to be the the epitome of the English way where you, you, you don't do this but and they were saying that she was acting fundamentally in destroying the way the royal family works yeah. so <laughs> exactly that's what she was doing she was just, everything everything she did was against royal protocol this everything and she was demanding things that like demanding a title for for Archie that didn't even exist wasn't even ever going to happen let it go well, you know on. What? Let's see what, the, what are we going to do next <laughs> week. There's, there's yeah. something new. Yeah. Well, I think she came in with her own ways, and they probably just couldn't accept that, and the whole yeah. thing is unravelled. But to America, they are America's royal family yeah. now. Her book number one on the bestseller list in America. Yeah, let's have, let's have a look at that book. I've got this lined up. I've got the Safari browser lined up here. 
So you can get it, you can get it on Google Play, this book, audio book. And it is the biggest rip-off book I've ever seen in my life. So you look at it, it's called The Bench. I think everyone knows it's called The Bench by Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. So she's using her royal name, even though she's not really allowed to. You know, there we go. Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. For all of three minutes, three minutes. Actually, we'll give her some credit here, because I think down here it says it's... Uh, Three minutes and 17 seconds. Whoa! Get an extra 17 seconds. Uh, $10.92. $10.92 for the audiobook there. Let's, let's, play, let's play a bit of a sample here. Let's see how much we can uh, tolerate. There we go. This is your bench. Yeah. Where life nice. will begin. Maybe you can be the bench warmer. I am the bench warmer. <laughs> for you and our son, oh our baby. Our kin. Now, does, this, does this sound like a children's book to you? This this sounds like something really deep. Children children like happy, happy you know very very shallow sort of books, bit bit sort of silly and stupid. This is very this is very deep. Let's have a little bit more of a listen. This is your bench, where you'll witness great joy. Witness from you here. What witness means you'll rest. See the growth of our boy. Oh my god. Here you'll rest, see the growth of our boy. So what is a kid having a baby with <laughs> with <laughs> with Megan? You know, it's just the whole premise it's almost like um uh, it just sounds like a bit of a jibe, doesn't it? Yeah. Learn to ride a bike as you watch on with pride. So it really is he'll run uh, and he'll fall and he'll take it in stride. So really, it's more uh, talking. Uh, she's really just talking to Prince Harry. Really, this is more like a a nice book for Prince Harry to. It's more of a personal, personal uh, thing with Prince Harry. Really. There we go. You'll love him. You'll listen. You'll be book. his supporter. When life feels in shambles. You'll help him find order. Oh dear, I seriously can't listen to any more. Let's have a look at the comments. He goes, wow, just wow. So many tons of people in the world struggling to get their books published and notice, and notice but this rubbish is given a platform. Come on. <laughs> okay, the water painting artwork is beautifully done. Uh, I don't think Megan did the watercolours. Uh, very beautiful children's, but why... why is it a beautiful children's book? I don't get it. Sorry. <laughs> this one sounds like me, Julie, Julie King. The preview was enough. Can't listen to someone dictate how to raise a child when he, she hates her own fa father and family. <laughs> and this one, Patrick. Patrick, good on you, Patrick. You picked it up too. Not a children's book. It's not a children's book. This is not a children's book. Bring back Dr. Zeus. Seriously. That was funny. You know, there's a lot of controversy about Dr. Zeus. And I love Dr. Zeus because it made you think differently. It's, it makes you think more laterally, you know, like, you know, green eggs and ham, you know, boom, blow my mind, man, green eggs and ham. We used to, used to make sort of green eggs and ham like Dr. Zeus as well. You know, everything's become politicized. It's just driving me friggin' bonkers. All right, let's see the end of this. Get back to it. Here we go. No one gives a toss about it in the UK. <laughs> no. Guess what, Koshi? Nobody gives a toss about it in Australia either, hey? That's, that's yeah. where it's coming down. Well, yeah. Harry can we'll return serve there. next week. We'll, well, and yeah. on the book says, Megan, Duchess of yeah. Sussex yeah, or whatever yeah. she yeah. is. So yeah. Why is she using the title? Yeah. The publishing a... company might have had a bit to do with yeah. that. <laughs> Not the publishing company. She just refuses to give the title away, doesn't she? She wants to live, live her own life. Saying that you can uh, don't have to be a princess or anything to uh, create good in the world, but she loves to use a title, doesn't she? It's a long way back. Oh, yeah. It's a long, long way back. I don't think they're going to. I don't mm. think they're going to get there. They're not coming All right. back. Let's hope that they make up. <laughs> well, we we do hope yes. that we do hold out hope. I just covered yes. <laughs> anyway, let's hope Megan and Harry just fade into the background and they live their life that they want to be left in private. You know, I won't do any videos on them. You know, I'm not going to put their little faces on my channel. And they can live in 
private and not be hassled by the paparazzi and all that. They killed, you know, uh, Prince Harry's mother and they can be all, you know, happy and live happily ever after in their you know, multi-million dollar deals with Netflix and so forth. But um, oh, it's just a big publicity ploy, isn't it, really? It's just using Harry as a vehicle to make more money. It's really what it is. All right, guys, you know the drill. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.